So hi all, thank you for joining my channel. I thought I would do a quick upload as something has been on my mind and I'm trying to make sense of it. I'm uh, really struggling with this concept of angle of attack and the diffraction limit and all these things that flat earthers are talking about to explain how ships disappear over the horizon. And I'm trying to make sense of it. There is this silly hallway experiment and I'm still not sure about what it's supposed to show as well. Uh, now information about all of this is pretty sparse and the only thing I have found so far is a series of ridiculously long YouTube videos and quite frankly I do not have the time to sit through these things especially considering that these are not exactly the most coherent or concise. So in an attempt to try and understand I thought that I would throw this out to the community in the hopes that someone can offer up an explanation which at least makes sense. So. To begin, here's what I understand so far. Right, The diffraction limit of a camera is given by the expression delta theta is equal to 1.22 times lambda over d, where lambda is the wavelength of the light and d is the lens aperture. Delta theta is then the smallest angular separation that can be resolved. Next, we have the hallway experiment. In this experiment, a flashlight is placed on the floor and then the observer takes images from the flashlight from a large distance from different heights. Now, once the line between the flashlight and the camera is at an angle to the floor below some critical angle, the light is no longer observed. Now, I have a problem with this experiment as there are many factors here that could impact the result. Most likely is that the floor is not level, but if it really is the so-called angle of attack that makes this happen, then, and the floor is not a factor, then the experiment should be repeatable by raising the flashlight some distance from the floor and then repeating it. But let's just entertain the idea that the result is somehow valid, and then we can make one of two conclusions. First is that the angular size of the flashlight decreases with the angle, Two is the resolution of the camera decreases with angle. Now, both of these conclusions are completely unphysical, but let's assume that they are correct. I am not trying to debunk here. I am merely trying to understand the argument. So let's apply this then to the observation of ships disappearing from the bottom up. Now, according to this, the ship should just blink out of the image once its angular size is below the diffraction limit. But if we look at this image, captured by a flat earther, we see that the hull has disappeared. Now if this were due to the angular size being below the diffraction limit, then why is the cabling still resolved? As you can see, I'm not 100% sure of what the argument is here, so if anyone can help, I'm just opening up a discussion uh, just so we can try to understand the argument and see what it's about, uh, it would be great. So, well, thank you for watching this quick one, and yes, like, subscribe, and do all of those things, please.